Welcome to Dark Haver's 3DX Max Tutorials. This is episode 2. Today we'll be learning how to use the Move, Rotate and Scale tool, how to scale an object and create an object using keyboard inputs, and how to begin to edit mesh. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our Create button up here, which looks like a sun. Just going to click that and go down to box. Now, when we click box, we get parameters and keyboard entry. If we go to the little plus on keyboard entry and left click, we are able to enter the size of the box we want uh, just by adding it in here. So, say length 10 millimeters. Width 10, height 10. And then when I hit create, this 10mm squared box will appear in the center of the screen, like so. And I'm just going to zoom in on it. Right, to move this cube, press W on the keyboard, and we get the movement widget. By clicking any of the arrows, you'll know which arrow you're clicking because as you hover over it, it will go yellow. By left clicking and dragging, so hold left click and drag on the arrows, it'll move it in that direction. So I, hold, I hover over the Z for instance, actually I'll hover over the X, it goes yellow. Hold down the left mouse button and drag and move it along the x axis. If I click the little box in the center, that will go yellow. If I left click that and drag, it will move it in all directions. This is not advised as it will drop it uh, in any location and it moves it randomly around depending on which way your camera is looking. Just going to drop that there. To rotate the object, I'm going to just press E on the keyboard to bring up my rotation widget. And same again, all I have to do is hover over the different colored icons here, left click and drag to rotate on those axes. To undo something that I've just done, say I've rotated it to there and I don't want that, just hold Control, press Z, and then tap Z while still holding Control as many times as you want to go back. If you want to rotate without using any of the axes, so you want to rotate it freely, just click around the middle, the icon will go grey and you can rotate in all directions at once. To scale the cube, press R on the keyboard and you'll get the scale widget. By hovering over the lines, I will scale in that direction. For instance, if I hold the Z here, I'll scale straight up. If I hover over the X, left click and drag, I'll scale just in the X. However, if I hover over between two of the lines, for instance here, I'll get like the triangle here. It will glow up just on its own. By left clicking and dragging here, it will scale on both those axes. So it will scale on two axes instead of one. And if I hover over the middle, the whole widget will light up and it will scale uniformly on all axes. Okay, let's spend a few moments practicing that. Now, we left click the object so it's selected, hold right click and go down to convert to, and then edit all poly. We are now able to edit this mesh. 
this menu will appear here, which appears once converted to Edel Poly and is under the rainbow. First icon here are the verts in the selection. So we just click vert, you notice we get these little points. We can select these points by left clicking and we can move using the widget like we did with the whole object individually to give the object some shape. The next, oh, before I forget, the verts are points where lines meet and they are little blue dots. The next selection is the edge selection. The edges are the lines of the mesh. So just by left clicking those, you can move those and scale those just like we did the whole object. And the next most important one is the polygons. The polygons are the faces of the mesh. And again, they can be scaled, rotated, and moved. Now, border we will go into in a later video. However, element allows you to select the whole object. It selects all the faces of that selected object. So it is like the polygon tool, except it selects everything. That's the end of episode 2. Thank you for listening.